Hi, my name is Dr. Richmond Lowe and I'm the fish vet. Today we've come to Hong Kong. So, what am I doing in Hong Kong? Basically, I've been invited by the Hong Kong government and the City University of Hong Kong to present a presentation to the veterinary practitioners uh, who are dealing with koi in Hong Kong. First stop to Tung Choi, where all the fish are, also known as Goldfish Street. Today we're in Hong Kong in an area known as Mong Kok on Tung Choi Street which is also known colloquially as the Goldfish Street. And if we kind of look straight up and down these two streets, you'll see it's lined by all sorts of fish in bags ready to go. In one of the fish shops in uh, Goldfish Street in Hong Kong you can see that they're really scarce in terms of space to so pack the fish in. and. Uh, to be able to hold the fish in this sort of um, densities, they will need to do a lot of partial water changes even through the day and have efficient filtration. You'll notice that some of the fish um, in the background there, they're already bagged up and ready to go. Uh, some people may think that it's quite cruel, but this is how your ornamental fish travels all over the world from places like Singapore and Hong Kong and to the wholesalers through to the retailers and then to your own home. You can sort of liken it to traveling in economy class in an airplane, a bus or a train, where in cramped conditions. Uh, it's only a temporary measure until they actually get to somebody's home. Um, the turnover rate of the uh, bag fish uh, is very high. Uh, you see them through the day replacing uh, the spots where they've already sold these fish. Um, so they're not really gonna be in those bags uh, like these ones. Uh, for a very very long time. So there's some controversy in the hobby industry about fish being bagged up like this. Do you think it's cruel? Please comment below with your thoughts. From a vet's perspective, one of my concerns is that fish can be stressed out being out in the open like this without any cover, but examining the eyes, fins, skin, the vibrancy of the color and they have good body weight, these fish appearing to be in good health. And this is only a temporary measure. There shouldn't be any long-term health issues for these fish. One of the positive things with fish that are already bagged up is that it reduces the risk of disease transmission. Aquariums can harbor diseases such as worm eggs in the floor, physical attacks from tank mates, and potentially harmful bacteria in the biofilm. When fish are bagged individually or in small groups like this, there's less chance of transmission of diseases because they're not mixed with other fish. Aquariums with high turnover may acquire fish from multiple sources and when populations mix, that's when stresses can occur and fish can get sick. So comment below to let us know what you think about it. The other thing I wonder is that what do they do with these tropical fish in winter time? Do they have them exposed in the cold like this? If you know, please post your comments below so that we can learn about it. One type of fish you should steer clear from are these painted fish. They are banned in many countries on welfare grounds because these fish are either artificially dyed by injection or by burning the skin off in acid prior to dying. If they don't die immediately from this, they succumb to bacterial and viral diseases and have a much reduced lifespan. And another Asian thing to do to enjoy some bubble tea. Thank you for watching. Please make sure that you like, share, subscribe and click the bell to get updates of our future videos and have a fantastic week.